Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and today we have a new build, build 25163, which is released today. We Usually on the Wednesday, we have a new build for the dev channel. So 25163 is the latest build with features. Before we start exploring it a little bit, I just want to mention that if you're on the beta channel, there were two build updates for the beta channel. So uh, 22621, 22622 have been updated, uh, that new way of separating builds and the insiders. Um, so if you are in the beta channel, you can check that out. So here in the dev channel, the install went well, the usual quick install that doesn't take, takes less than an hour in total and you're into um, a new build here on this machine. What's new? Well, one of the things that is new is something called taskbar overflow. Now, I obviously have a lot of space on my taskbar, so before that happens, it's going to take a lot of time. But in uh, cases where maybe the taskbar, the icons, things are bigger, and you have no more space, what's going to happen is that when you add or pin new icons to the taskbar, when you have no more space, you'll be able, you'll have three little dots appear here on the end and you'll be able to click it and there's going to be a overflow or a pop-up with all the other icons that would be technically on your taskbar if you had enough space that show up just above here. So that is rolled out apparently to pretty much everybody. There's also an improved nearby sharing. So if you go and want to share something, say I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to videos, and I'm going to want to share this video here. I right click or I click on it, and I just um, click the share button. You'll see that now there's this improved sharing, including OneDrive, where you can now share OneDrive. Uh, in OneDrive if you want, and you can share it easily uh, with pretty much all the devices that you want. So basically, this is a new feature that's going to happen here. So you can share, of course, to uh, OneDrive with your local drives. For the rest, uh, mostly bug fixes and improvements. Uh, one of the things to look at, there will be a update to the Microsoft Store in this build at some point. Apparently, they're improving the store. So this could be something to look at. For the rest, I've been, been using it only for about an hour, but I haven't had any problems yet. Uh, if you have issues, if you have anything uh, not going right, well, uh, that's possible. This is, of course, dev channel, and uh, look for the improved Microsoft Store that will update itself. We'll see, and I'll examine it actually and look at uh, the store, maybe talk about it uh, as the update rolls through. So new build 25163 is available with a couple of features and uh, hopefully you enjoy this um, new build. If uh, you can't, of course, the clean install could be something that will fix your problems. To do so, you just have to download the uh, image, the last build that were, we uh, actually had, had an image uh, that was also available so you can clean install a dev build if you want. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.